Ah, stop it. That's like too cool. Oh gosh, yeah, ain't this feeling for the boy. Yo, it's your boy Betty, and today we are back with Boruto in Chapter 8, and this time we are doing the official release on this and that reaction. So I'm definitely excited. We obviously had a few questions and we did do the scan translation reaction. Of course, I'll link it here for those who want to see the official first time. But for those who wanted to get a bit more of a deep dive and an extra context, then of course, this is the place for you. So hit the like and subscribe button, especially if you're excited for some Boruto. And yeah, let's get into the chapter. It's about to go down. Okay, so chapter eight is titled, It Doesn't Matter. All right. So we know how this is going to go down, but again, the context, especially Mitsuki and Ada's conversation, that's where I'm curious. And also the scenario with Himawari at the end, that's also what I'm hoping we get more context on. So anyways, let's start off chapter eight. I'm your son. It's that simple. Come find me anytime. Ah, stop it. That's like too cool. Oh gosh, yeah, ain't this feeling for the boy. That's already way more clear, right? Because last time was almost like, it almost made it seem like she was like, oh no, this ain't good, you know, as opposed to it being like, oh my god, don't act so cool, you know what I mean? So, anyways, hey. Quit standing around. Hurry up and track Mitsuki down before that bastard Boruto gets away. Hold on. I need a minute. <laughs> Ada's loving up on our boy. Man. I, listen, I love to see it. Imagine, you know, we've been having shipping conversations sometimes. Sarada, Samire. Imagine it's Ada that ends up being the sneaky link. Imagine. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Hey, Kawaki. What's with your rude attitude towards a uh, dear Ada? You're pissing me off. I don't care how you feel. Go ahead, be mad. <laughs> I liked the translation better there. It was like, stay, stay mad or something like that. <laughs> Found him in the forest, 20 plus kilometers south of the Great Gate. He's mine. Let's go, Delta. Scumbag. I'm heading out, dear Ada. I'll yell at him real good for you, okay? Thank you, Delta. Be careful. Watch over Kawaki. Okay, yeah, no, this this con this conversation has been different. It, it's obviously, you know, it it basically resembles what we saw in the first scan, in the only scan, but it is different. The moment dear Ada tires of you, I'm gonna kill you. Once I'm done with my goals, I'll go away on my own. So, no, so not only are they self-aware, they've already started evolving into Divine Trees too. So, okay, this is interesting because, again, in the scans it looked like Jura was having this convo with Hibari, whatever his name is. But in this case, it's actually Shikamaru continuing his convo with Boruto. You've got to be joking. Divine Trees suck up all life on the planet, right? So this planet's doomed? We're not there yet. But if Kawaki or I get devoured, they'll finish evolving and bear a chakra fruit. Then the planet will die. Speaking of divine trees, Team 10's Kamats uh, Kazamatsuri, Kazamatsuri Moegi. Okay, yeah, sorry, I don't know why that threw me off. Team 10's Kazamatsuri Moegi became a tree after a claw grime ate her. It's happened to others regardless of age or gender. What's up with them? The ten tails are using their chakra. It's why they're still alive. For what purpose? I'm not sure yet. Boruto, how much do you actually know? Yeah, I wonder if there's more that's not been revealed to us that Boruto is keeping to himself. Obviously, what it seems like to me is that we're going to get this two blue vortex manga told less from Boruto's perspective because my dude one he's so skilled at the moment it's not like we need to see him level up or character development at the moment he seems like he's he's done a lot of character building during his time with Sasuke and also with Kashin Koji so I imagine the 
the perception or the, the, the view we'll get will be from the viewpoint of Kawaki and Shikamaru and these guys that don't really have much info in terms of what's going on at the moment and obviously the Shinju as well. Incoming message from Kawaki, Lord Ape. Shall I connect you? Give me a sec. You know, I have another transmission via the sensory unit. Any worries this convo will be overheard? Every transmission is individual and separate, so it's fine. You'll be the only one who can hear both of them. Apologies, sensory unit. Patch him through. Yes, sir. Shikamaru here. What is it? Ada's pinpointed Boruto's location. He's south of the village, not too far. <laughs> He's south of the village, not too far. I'm headed there now. The southern woodlands? What could he be doing there? Again, speaking up, thinking out loud. <laughs> I've got to correct myself though when it comes to the transmission. Who cares? Delta will rush, attack him from above. I'll then follow up and we'll pinch him. Calm down, Kwaki. Don't be so rash. Remember, he's gotten stronger. Wait for backup. Exactly. I don't have that luxury, Mr. Shika. You want him to get away? Later, Lord Ape. I'll be in touch. He <laughs> nah, man. Flying Raijin Boruto is too slick, man. Hey, aren't we almost there? Gah. Don't stop so suddenly. That's weird. I don't sense him. Maybe he sensed you coming? No. I haven't felt his aura once, so it's got to be the same for him. He vanished before he perceived me. Yeah? How unlucky for you. And again, the panelling, the way it's positioned, does make it seem like Wookie's giving Shikamaru that side eye. So, everything that I said with the last reaction that we did around Kawaki maybe starting to develop some mistrust for Shikamaru, I think this is what this is leading to. But anyways, we'll continue on. Because Mitsuki's arrived and this is what I was curious about. Oh? Apologies. I didn't realise you were here. I, um, I hope I'm not intruding. That you'd do such a thing to Kawaki was a total surprise. Was he... mad? Hard to say. He told me to find you, but it was simply to locate Boruto. He flew off as soon as I did. I guess he feels it's a waste of time to berate me. Saying that doesn't make you sad? Not really. That itself doesn't matter to me. Okay, chapter name. That's what I felt for quite some time now. Ada, up until I met you, I'd never known the emotion of love. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? That'd be a waste of your time. <laughs> I like what she did there. <laughs> no, I know it's false. A result of your ability. Rather, I'm thanking you. For if it wasn't for you, I may have gone through life without ever experiencing this splendid emotion. Okay. I wonder if it's because I'm an artificial person created from scratch. It's not just love. I don't really understand who I even am. And yet, I didn't think I, it mattered as long as I had a son who continuously illuminated me. And now she's starting to get it because obviously she listened in, she knows what Boruto said to him. Too cool, you know what I mean? Shout out Boruto, man. You could even say that most things didn't matter to me, including myself. But I was wrong. Yeah, because if I don't bother to give myself affirmation first, I'll lose sight of who my son is. What the most important thing is, before I even am aware of it. And Boruto made me realise this. And Boruto made you realise this? That's great. <laughs> she seems, I don't know if she's saying it sarcastically, like, I don't care why you're telling me what it is. Or if she actually means it, because her expressions tells cis sarcasm. But anyways. This might be a bit presumptuous of me, but... I think we are similar. Look, I said this in the last reaction, I'll say it again. Ada looking bad in this, man. She looking... She, she a baddie, man. God damn. <laughs> Anyways. I think we are similar. I don't know why. I love Kwaki. Huh? 
Hold on a minute. So wait, he don't love Boruto, he loves Kwoki. And he's saying love after saying that he understands what love is. So is he trying to compare his feelings for Ada to his feelings for Kwoki and saying that's similar? I don't know why. I love Kwoki. But that's what love is. Your chest tight and it's just thinking about him. It doesn't really matter why it happens. You simply can't comprehend that because my ability caused you to experience false love. Yeah, you might be right. It's just, I was scared. When I realized that who I thought of as my son may not be so, I then feared losing it. So I stopped thinking about whether or not that son was the real thing. You're saying I'm the same? That I'm a foolish girl who's in love with being in love? I didn't mean it like that. Sorry, I guess. I was being presumptuous. Maybe, but can I be blunt with you? We're talking about love right now. <laughs> Talk about drama. <laughs> Ugh, what? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Wait, so... So does he mean he loves Kwaki or does he actually love Boruto and he's just comparing to Ada? I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm slightly confused there, man. Like, let me know what you guys think. Like, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are in this moment because... Again, the, the idea of love that I have in my mind might not be the idea of love that Mitsuki is thinking. Like, some of, one of you has mentioned it in the comments, actually, that Mitsuki might be talking love as if friends. Like, I love him as a friend kind of thing. Like, you know, I've got love for this person. But, I don't know, man. The fact that he's trying to compare it to Ada saying that we're similar. Listen, no qualms, in it? But it is interesting. I'm your son. It's that simple. I think I want to have a long talk with Boruto. Yes, she does, man. She want to get it in, man. <laughs> she want to she wanna confirm that bag, you know. You got the Uzumaki son right there. Literally. Let's be real. Hokage son. She want to she wanna confirm the bag, man. Anyways. It should be time. And here we have Jura. Yes, this is good. Come Hidari, Hidari, not Hibari. Here they are, about to invade. Do you believe what Boruto said, Shikamaru? I know what you want to say, but as, I, but as I told you earlier, this is top secret. Don't disclose this to anyone else, no matter your own personal opinion. I know, it's just so hard to believe. Lord Ape, trespasses, two near the Great Gate. Checking chakra signatures. One is unknown. The other is a match. It's Uchiha Sasuke. It's not Uchiha. I'm gonna repeat repeating that. I hope they follow the same joke where he's like, Uzumaki Naruto? Uzumaki Naruto? Uzumaki Naruto? I hope they do that because that was so hilarious. <laughs> I really hope they do. Anyways. So where is he? Uzumaki Naruto. I don't know his location, but I can tell. Hope. Oh. Listen up, if you move even an inch, we'll deem you as foes. You there, are you Uchiha Sasuke? Why are you trespassing? Follow protocol, evacuating civilians is the top priority. She could dear. Ada, sorry, but I'm busy right now. I'll get in touch later. It's about those trespassers. I saw them a little while earlier. I apologize for not reporting it sooner. They're ten tails. I don't know how, but they're self-aware. So it goes without saying that they're enemies of Konoha. And yeah, you see all of those leaf joining skewered on trees. Man. Look at this, Hidari. A rare bookshop. How magnificent. This unexpected encounter looks promising. So he's here? With a lucky Naruto? <laughs> he's still asking. What amuses me is you asking that with a straight face. <laughs> and then Kwaki comes in, throws those, you know, rods with Sukuna Hikona. But yeah, man, Hidari dodged that quick. He's in the Rinnegan, maybe? Who knows? Kwaki comes through, kicks Hibot like Hidari away, but my dude literally like lands on his two feet, so it was, it was yeah, it did nothing. 
Who are you? Why did you come to Konoha? Do not fight in front of the shop. You'll damage the treasure trove. Kawaki. Nah, man. That's jigging, man. That's jigging without a doubt. Like, Ishiki jigging, whatever you want to say. But Jura is that reincarnation. So, yeah. Kawaki's trapped in trees. Jura goes to, like, come at him. It's not trying to eat him. It's just trying to fight. But then Kawaki uses the Kuna Hikuna. Tele basically looks like he teleports. Uses his obviously ninja tech arms and Jura just punches through it like nothing. What? Whilst he was in calm, I won't kill you yet. So be still, Utsutsuki. Get punched in the face, sent flying, and then straight KO. Hmm? There you are, Uzumaki Naruto. Hey, wake up, Kawaki. Hidari, he's here, close by. Are you sure? He's a Jinchuriki who bears a biju. As an incarnation of a fellow biju. Of a fellow biju. As an incarnation of a fellow biju, I can sense the biju chakra dwelling inside him. And what's interesting is obviously, Naruto is not a Jinchuriki anymore. Kuruma passed away, so... But, this confirms this isn't the, sen the same... Like... The ten tails that Jura came from isn't the same ten tails or linked to the same ten tails that Kageo was part of, right? When she became the ten tail rabbits. So, a fellow bijou just means that maybe they were like siblings or do you know what I mean? Related in that sort of way, but obviously not the same one. Anyways, the chakra match is the chakra is a match. It's Utia Sasuke. Master was absorbed by ten tails. What's going on? Who is it that's come to Konoha? And then we got Himawari coming with Team 10. Listen up, even if it is Master Sasuke, don't hesitate to strike. He's helping Boruto, which makes him just as much of a traitor. Don't worry, Himawari. I'll protect you. Nah, Jura, man, your feet are crazy. That was me thinking they fixed it. They ain't fixed ish, man. They ain't fixed nada. <laughs> that was crazy. Which one is he? This is like a Naruto, bro. He dory, man. <laughs> this is odd. What in the world is going on here? Yeah, because that is not Naruto. That's what my question is. What is going on here? And I'm curious to see what people have been saying here on Viz, because obviously you can see comments on here. So, what people, what's what's people saying? So, W chapter, yeah, of course. The latter could be. Oh yeah, wait, more comments, more comments, more comments. All right, let's see. The introduction of Kawaki was legendary, but the stock's been falling lately, just saying. That's facts. W chapter, let them cook the story for the good. Keep up the good work, yeah, because it's been dope. Contains spoilers. We're finally about to get some Himawari lore slash content. Himawari stock soaring, that's facts. Bro, I don't know if I can be okay with this monthly. This is fire. Too fire to be monthly, and that's facts. I'm praying that somehow we get Kurama back. Yeah, so that's what I've been seeing some people theorize. That maybe it's Kurama, Kurama being reincarnated inside Himawari. The only thing I doubt about that is why would it be Himawari? Why would Kurama just randomly reincarnate? I feel like there needs to be more of a reason. Now, my thinking is maybe it being linked to something like the Tenzegan, but then again, the Tenzegan hasn't got any correlation with the Tentails, right? That's more of a Notsutsuki kind of ability as opposed to it being tied specifically to what you could get from being a Jinchuriki or having ten, like the Tail Beast Chakra. So I think maybe it's less that and maybe more connected to like the fact that again, she's she's Naruto's daughter and potentially what we're seeing is the transference of that Tail Beast Chakra that was in Naruto infused with obviously you know, the Hyuga clan's chakra within Himawari. And obviously how Naruto was meant to be the center point for all of the tailed beasts, maybe that did get transferred in some way. So when, you no know, Kurama died, similar to how Ishiki's essence soul found the white karma and then kind of inserted itself onto um, Code, well, I guess that didn't really happen in that say, but he appeared before Code. Maybe something similar happened with Kurama where it's es like his essence couldn't be extinguished completely. You know, there is that theory in science where like 
energy can never completely disappear it, there's always like a remainder it goes somewhere else do you know what i mean maybe that's what's happened here it's like kuma isn't dead his energy couldn't completely be extinguished so maybe because of what naruto did his connection to kuruma was what gave out and basically got killed off died and Kuruma had to find another host to be able to survive and maybe attached itself onto Himawari because we do know Himawari and Tail Beast. There does seem to be some connections there. They built on that with Shukaku. They've obviously had some interactions, Kuruma and Himawari. So maybe that is something that we're seeing. And I do, I do like the idea of that. Again, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that because, I mean, we could talk about that for time, man. Like, I mean, it, and we've got a month for two, so... So yeah, there's definitely a lot more we can definitely dive into and this theory is already flying everywhere. So I'm curious to hear what everyone else is thinking. Um, what if Kawaki has nine tailed chakra because Boruto and... What if Himawari has nine tailed chakra because Boruto and Kawaki swap lives and Boruto has nine tailed chakra? Wait, that makes no sense. A reminder from the tree, people to support your local bookstores. Okay, <laughs> all right, anyways. Yeah, it's an environmentalist manga. This is what happening with uh, Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. We got the... Shinju, who obviously come from trees, and they're like, oh, W Bookstore. Yeah, W Books, man. They love it. They love paper, man. They got, they got to represent themselves, if you know what I mean. But listen, this is an absolutely dope chapter. Obviously, a lot more context, a lot more insight in terms of what's really going on. I think it was a lot more clear. And I still feel like questions were raised, particularly around Mitsuki and Ada's conversation, when what Mitsuki means. Are you saying you love Kawaki as a friend? You say you love Kwaki is the way the same way that Ada loves Kwaki. I'm curious, but I'm keen to hear what you guys think. Anyways, this is pretty much been the review. I've absolutely loved this chapter, but def definitely let me know what you guys thought and what your favorite moment was in the chapter as well. Let me know what your thoughts are around the talking points I mentioned, the Himawari, the Mitsuki point. Let me know where you, whether you expect Borizu to come back in here, because obviously Kwaki claimed do ish. Himawari, I don't know how she's about to square up against two Shinju, and if Himawari is going to be put in a weird place and a dangerous situation, then obviously Boruto's got to pull up again. But bro, Boruto coming in to save you guys three times in a row. Three times what? In the same day? Has it been, uh, has it been two days? Like, I'm curious, man. But anyways, I've absolutely loved it. Of course, I've been your boy Betty. Hit the like button if you are enjoying videos like this. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. We are going to be doing two videos for Boruto every month. You don't want to miss that. And we also do anime reactions as well. So come join the fam. But for everyone else that has been sharing that love, thanks as always. This, of course, has been your boy Betty. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.